welcome guys now in this section we will just go through the basic concept of uh, intro trip scheme and let's start here you can see we will define the intro trip scheme first the term intro tripping may be defined as method in which operation of a protection equipment at one end of the circuit causes a signal to be transmitted to trip a circuit breaker at the remote end of the circuit so the concept is really simple here you can see there are two end you can say this is end a and this is end b so this is substation a here this is substation b uh, in this substation you can see the breaker is installed here on the line and at the receiving end there is a transformer and uh, there is no breaker at transformer high voltage side whereas, whereas there is a breaker at transformer low voltage side so it's uh, very clear now that if there is a fault in between line here or there is a fault on transformer so in order to isolate the transformer it's very important that we should be able to isolate it because there is no local breaker the tripping has to be sent to the remote breaker and it should trip immediately so uh, in this condition this type of scheme is called as direct transfer strip scheme but uh, we will discuss this one in detail but now the concept if if substation a and substation b if there is a fault in substation b and within and there is a con such a condition that if there is a fault substation b we, and there is no breaker here so we want to trip immediately the feeding and breaker at the remote station so through this PIED we will transmit a signal and as soon as signal is received it will trip the breaker at remote end to cut the fault current so this is basically the example of transfer tripping so it could be in case of a radial feeder or uh, there are some other applications we will study so concept of unit protection scheme unit protection schemes can be formed by several relays located remotely from each other and some distance protection schemes such unit protection schemes need communication between each location to achieve a unit protection function this communication is known as protection signaling Communication facilities are also needed when remote circuit breakers need to be protected operated due to a local event. This communication is known as intertripping. So these are the basic definitions that we have learned. Basically, um, unit protection scheme is a protection scheme in which uh, it is um, when there is a fault on a unit for example a transformer it's a unit line it's a unit it's it is tripping the uh, feeding sources or it's tripping the breaker at the same time so whereas in the grid production scheme tripping is done that we will learn later on tripping is is not done as per unit but it's as per grade for example if you have a uh, um, as you have seen there is a uh, 400 volt incomer breaker and there is an outgoing breaker so if there is a fault in outgoing breaker first outgoing breaker will trip if tripping is not uh, successful then incomer will trip this is kind of a grating graded protection so we will further learn later that what is a unit protection and what is a graded protection so communication messages the communication messages involved may be quite simple involving instructions for receiving device to take some defined action tripping blocking etc or it may be, be the passing of major data in some of the form one device to another as in a unit production scheme so communication messages so you want to send communication messages it, it, it is not necessary that it's, it will send a tripping it could send through a communication medium a uh, trip signal a blocking signal unblocking signal in some cases like line differential production it is sending the signal of uh, measurements like how much current at one end and another end 
and both currents are communicated so these are example of communication messages so this we will discuss in detail so so far we have understand what is the concept of unit production in this section and in detail we will give you the concept of gridded production we have understand about what is uh, intertrip scheme and we have understand one example there are several examples so we will study in the next section so thank you very much